Muzan Kibutsuji is the main character in Demon Slayer, and when it comes to looks, he looks a lot like Michael Jackson. But anyway, in today's video, we are going to discuss who Muzan really is and how he became a demon without further wasting time let's get started. So, this is the story of the Heian period when a wealthy family had a son who was constantly ill, many doctors had even said that he would not live beyond the age of 20. There were several reasons for this the boy's body was becoming weaker day by day, and no doctor had any information about his illness. But a skilled doctor made the decision to cure his illness and started experimenting with new medications specifically designed for the boy. After enduring illness for so long and having a desire to live a little longer, frustration built up inside the boy, and in a fit of anger, he ended up killing the well-intentioned doctor. However, shortly after killing the doctor, the boy realized that the medications created by the doctor were indeed working on his body. This led the boy, now known as Muzan, to believe that his body had become stronger. However, he still faced the issue of being unable to venture outside in sunlight additionally, he had no problem consuming humans to satisfy his hunger. Indeed, Muzan was aware that he could not venture outside before sunset, which gradually frustrated him even more with each passing day. The restriction of being confined indoors during daylight hours was becoming increasingly burdensome for him. Muzan had indeed seen the doctor, but he was unaware of how the medicine, known as Blue Spider Lily, was created. He knew that the medicine appeared blue in color, but he had no knowledge of its exact whereabouts. Unfortunately, the doctor who had information about it had already been killed by Muzan. In his search for the Blue Spider Lily, Muzan traveled to various corners of Japan but was unable to find it. Muzan desired a perfect immortal body, and it was because of this desire that only two things held significance in his life. The first was the blue spider lily, as it held the key to achieving his desired immortality. The second was finding a demon who could withstand sunlight so that Muzan could consume that demon and gain the ability to tolerate sunlight himself. And that's why wherever Muzan went, he would turn people into demons in the hope of finding that one demon who could tolerate sunlight. In the final chapter of the manga, it is revealed that the blue spider lily is a flower that blooms only two or three times a year, and even then, it blooms during the daytime. And if any of you didn't like this video, you can watch it again, just kidding and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.